Hello, Jamie from Fuel Moto here today. I want to talk a little bit about Harley Davidson Gen 2 Milwaukee 8 engines, specifically the camshaft position sensor. The Gen 2 engines can be identified by the shape of the cam cover, and there is also the cam position sensor plug comes out of the forward edge. So uh, we'll pull this cover off here. You can see the sensor protrudes to the inside, and it also has the pickup cup on the inside that we, we discussed in a video earlier this week. Uh, the importance of having the spacer between the the cam sprocket and the cup as opposed to the inside here between the bolts. So we've had a lot of guys that were doing a cam swap that have inadvertently uh, put the spacer in the wrong spot and that causes cam position codes and potential running problems and other things there. Um, but it also brought up a lot of questions that, that we were answering um, relative to why a non-BBT engine has a cam position sensor in the first place and is it really used or in, in that so so basically the cam position sensor um, uses uses this pickup cup produces a wave that the ECU sees and the ECU can use that 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 sensor feedback uh, along with the crank sensor to to it knows it knows the the stroke of the engine now whereas the with the crank sensor by itself uh, that that is only going to read 360 degrees of rotation there and the camshaft runs at half the speed of that so you're going to have um, the relation between the camshaft and the crankshaft. The ECU can know top dead center and which stroke the engine's in so it can fire. And, and it can also use that for, for other things related to fuel and spark delivery. Now, uh, very interesting, uh, this, this cup doesn't need to be uh, indexed or clocked on the cam sprocket. Uh, the reason is, is when, when, the, when you turn the key on, the ECU does a, does, does a learning process and syncs up. It syncs the the uh, cam position sensor to the, the crank sensor and also uses the map sensor. So with that, it not only knows where top dead center and the stroke is, it, it, it allows the, the ECU to, on a, like say a VVT engine, it's gonna know where, not only where the cam phaser is asking to, the cam to be, but it's also gonna know the, the relation relative where the cam is. So, so any, any um, um, VVT related variable valve train uh, will also use that sensor as well. But the non-VBT engines also use that because the ECM, like I said, it, and now it knows the stroke where, where before it only knows 360 degrees and, and you know, the engine fires at 720 and on, on, on a given cylinder. So it just has a better resolution and can it's more information to feed back in there. So just a little information I want to share and I uh, hope that uh, you found it helpful. And any other questions you have, let us know. Hit us up at fuelmotorusa.com. Thank you.